Thanks for joining me again on video number three or four of our training camp to make you a top 5% producing agent for your company. All right, so let me ask you a couple of questions now. So we laid the foundation to all of this. We gave you the templates and we started thinking about where our staff's gonna be, where their strong suits are and, and how we're gonna utilize them in our agency. So let me ask you this question. How quickly do you wanna start writing more policies and, and how, how quickly do you wanna start freeing up your time? Right? How quickly do you want this all to be implemented? Obviously, those are rhetorical questions, as you want them as fast as possible. So this uh, video, we're going to talk about our fast action plan. All right, so what we've been doing through this whole training camp, I want you to think of it like this. An athlete, uh, when preparing for a season, they'll go through training camp, right? And that's the foundation for the season or even off-season workouts. So they'll go through all of that, uh, get prepared, and, and they're ready to hit the ground running in week one, okay? But don't forget, the biggest part to that is they don't stop there. They train all throughout the year and in the off season because they wanna keep uh, up with that pace forever. So that's one thing we gotta learn about, but we do want a, a fast action plan. And so that's what I wanna talk to you about today. So we've had this foundation laid. We know what we're gonna be doing. We have a direction we wanna go in. So how do we implement this now? And so that's why Right here, I got our fast action objectives, and there's not a ton of them, but they're important. All right, so the first one here is uh, we talked about the one as 100 concept that kind of goes in to running your agency like a Fortune 500 company. What I mean by that is we want to have everybody accountable for each action, as we talked about before. So what you're going to end up doing is you're going to set expectations quickly and clearly. All right, that's where that agency meeting is gonna, gonna come into play. So that's the first thing you're gonna do. You're gonna call the staff together. You're gonna point out to them and hand them everybody's uh, job roles. You're gonna tell them, you know, like I said before, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that. And I also want you to do something different. I want you to show everybody else everybody's job objectives. All right, so everybody knows where the lines are. So they don't think that it's just them that's getting all these different tasks. Okay, um, so that's the first thing you're gonna do. You hold a meeting and, and it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be kind of a, I don't wanna say brash, but it's gonna be an abrupt meeting of, this is the next action we're gonna take. We're gonna, we're gonna change, uh, I don't know about everything, we're gonna change a lot of things. So that's number one, all right? And you also need to set uh, expectations very clear as far as if these uh, processes are not getting done properly, we are gonna have a conversation. And you wanna set a, a plan for that. Uh, whether it's a warning system, whether it's a probation period, everybody does that a little different. Uh, and I don't want to tell you how to run that because that depends on your staff, but you need to have that expectation of if this is not done properly, we are going to have a conversation uh, and we're going to talk about it. And I want to coach you up to make sure you're comfortable with it. All right, so that's the next thing you're going to do is you're going to have that meeting. You're going to set those clear expectations. The biggest thing with that though, what I find agents do is, you know, maybe they start this process, but then something doesn't go right. Very quickly what'll happen is staff starts falling into their old habits again. Uh, and if we don't stay on top of that, we're the only ones to blame for that failing. All right, so you cannot, you cannot, do not be afraid to, to really take corrective action when needed. All right, that's helped me a lot. And people will respect that. And it comes back to, you will find out who's supposed to be there and who's not supposed to be there. If somebody can understand that you're just trying to coach them up, make them better and more part of the team to get their job more effectively uh, done, then, then they're gonna be responsible uh, with that information and they're gonna go ahead and do that. The most important thing here, guys, is you, you might only have one shot at this. Let's be real, uh, when, when changing a lot of things in an agency for the better, if it works, it can take off and you could become that 5%. All right. Uh, if if you just decide you want to implement this in a week and then in three weeks later, everybody's kind of gone back to the same, they're not going to take you seriously when you try to do it again. So odds are you might only have one shot at this. All right. So that's why you got to do it the right way. You got to do that staff being. You got to do the individual interviews that I talked about that I gave you the template on. And you also have to really define the expectations. And uh, the other thing we didn't talk about yet is goal setting. All right, everybody needs to have goals in the agency. It's easy to do that for a sales producer. You know, you got to hit a certain amount of revenue or a certain amount of policies per month. Uh, but with, you know, your customer service, your manager, your, your admin even, uh, they need to have bonuses tied to the agency goals. All right, so everybody's clicking on the same cylinders uh, for a couple reasons. One, they want to feel valuable towards, towards the end result. And number two, 
um, you know, they don't want to have this impression of salesman is king. And I know that might be uh, some people's theory, and not I'm not going to get into that, but the reality is they need to be uh, feeling as if they're part of it. So you need to tie everybody to a goal of some sort, whether that's a retention number, whether that is a satisfaction number, if, if you're an agency model where that uh, satisfaction number is a score you get. Um, or whether it's a revenue or a policy count or a referral count or cross-sell count or a bundling percentage, whatever it may be, everybody needs to be tied to something. And that's part of those clear expectations that you got to set out there for them. All right, so we've laid the foundation. This right here is your fast action start. This is how you're going to get it going. But like I said, like an athlete in training camp, the foundation will get you started. But how do we keep this going, right? How do you keep this going, not just now? How do you make sure in two to three weeks that this doesn't just tail off and that's the end of it? We've all done that before, right? Why do most trainings that we attend, most things that we buy marketing-wise, why don't they work? All right, it's not maybe because the product's bad. It's not maybe because the training's bad. It's because we try to implement it and then it goes away. So the, the fourth video and the most important video is going to be how we're going to build this foundation for the life of your agency. And once you finally get past a couple of months of this, it actually becomes autopiloted. And, and that's the beauty of it. And then all of a sudden, uh, most agents, here's, here's a cool little secret. Most agents that are in that top 5% probably work less than 30 hours a week in their agency. How cool would that be when you're producing like a 5% agent but not having to work more than 30 hours a week in your office? I mean, if you like to, then, then go for it. But that's what we want to do next. So the last video, I need you to join me on. That's going to be the most important one. That's going to be how are we going to carry this fast action start, this foundation. How are we going to build on that? How are we going to take that into the future and have it a permanent fixture in your office? All right, so that's going to be the last video of our four video series of this training camp. So I, I really hope you enjoyed the first three. The last one's the best one, I promise you. And other than that, guys, go through everything. Make sure you get your fast action plan in place. Schedule that meeting now. Schedule the individual interviews. Uh, heck, even if you want to before the fourth video, go ahead and, and start doing this. Hopefully you already took the templates and figured all that stuff out with the job segmentation and the actual processes you're going to use. Start planning that meeting. All right, let's start planning that meeting, get the agenda together, and, and let's go through uh, piece by piece what you're going to talk about with the staff. All right, and then what you're going to do is you're going to, um, this is a little sneak preview into to the next week, or the next video, I'm sorry, is you're going to each week have an accountability meeting for 15 minutes. All right, each week you're going to see who's struggling, who needs help with what, and get different ideas generated. Uh, but anyway, join me for the last video, video number four. It's the one that's really going to catapult this thing, make it a permanent fixture for your agency. I will see you then, guys, and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Bye.